Hey guys, what's up? This is Ayash and welcome to a brand new video on the channel and today in this video we will have a look on this cheapest computer, the Raspberry Pi 0 W. So let's get started. So this is the Raspberry Pi 0 W computer and this is the cheapest computer with Wi-Fi and Bluetooth you can buy in the market right now and you heard me right it has wi-fi as well as it has bluetooth functionality and this whole circuit board thing cost just 700 rupees again the best buy link will be in the description box you can buy it from there so coming to the circuit board itself it's very small as you can see it's in my hand and you can compare it with my palm it looks very small and it's a single sided circuit board and if you don't want these components exposed like this you can buy a case for it. So talking about it, here in this black square thing, it has the 1 GHz processor and a half gigs of RAM. And this slot is given for the micro SD card slot in which operating system will be stored and it will also use for the storage purpose. And this is the mini HDMI port used for the monitor. And here it has two micro USB ports. This first port will be used as the OTG like in a smartphone used for the USB peripherals and the second micro USB port will be used only for the power and for more in-depth information you can have a look on this image and now let me show you how you can start this thing and make this thing work so first you need a micro SD card minimum it should be of at least 4 gigabytes then you have to download the operating system from their website called raspberry.org and there are many operating system available also it has windows 10 Lite version Personally, I have installed the Raspberry which is very efficient and it's very popular for the Raspberry devices. Actually, it's based on the Linux. And again guys, if you don't know how to flash an operating system image file, I will be linking a tutorial link in the description, you can watch that. And then, you will need a mini HDMI converter to use this thing with the monitor. And then, you need a OTG cable that you usually use with your smartphone. Just connect it in this micro USB port and connect your keyboard and mouse. And after doing all these things, connect the power and again you can use your smartphone charger but the output should be at least of 5 volts. And it will turn on like this also it will show yellow LED light on it. But guys for some reason if it does not turn on, uh, just make sure that you have installed correct image file in the SD card. Also you have put the HDMI cable before putting the power input. So now as you can see it has booted up. So first let's try to do some browsing on it and again guys the google chrome is pre-installed in it and also it has a computer graph at the right corner as you can see if you open any chrome page it just boots to 100 percent and i would say you can do some normal browsing on it it works fine for that and now let's try to play some youtube videos on it and as you can see the youtube videos lags a lot Definitely, it's not for the entertainment purpose, it's not for the YouTube videos. But especially for the programming stuff, if you are in programming like C++, Java programming, it has some pre-installed softwares. Also, if you want, you can install some other softwares in it. So for programming or to practice the programs, it's a really good device for that. And also, it has the Office apps as you can see here. And also, it has Minecraft pre-installed. And the Minecraft works amazing on this little machine. It works fine. As you can see, there are no lags. But again guys, Minecraft does not require graphics. That's why. So overall guys, I would say this thing is not for all. This thing is specially for the programmers, developers. Or if you are learning programming or developing like C, C++, Java and other kind of languages. Or if you use office apps or if you are a Minecraft fan then it's a great machine for Minecraft and to sum it up guys I would say this thing is an excellent product for developers or programmers and from my side it's a big big yes. And also guys subscribe to this channel now to watch more cool videos like this also post your thoughts in comment section and if you like this video and if you feel this video was very informative to you do hit that like button. Also, press that bell icon to get notified every time I upload a new video. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.